I've decided to spend 12 days doing things I've never done before. Today I'm doing a triathlon as a way of getting to work. I'm going to ride my daughter's balance bike that I've modified, swim and wade down my local river, <laughs> then run an indirect route to the office. I'm heading to work! People might say it's pointless, and you're right. Triathlons are useless too. They keep you fit, but they don't get you anywhere. Well, this at least gets me to the office. It's all very fun, inefficient, and the first time I've ever done a triathlon. This is day two of 12 days of newness. Now, I'm not doing it in the traditional order of swim, bike, run, because I don't live next to water. I've got to get to the water, so it's going to be ride, swim, run to the office. Mm. Let's hope that holds Dad. I'm in my awesome gear. I'm in my top of the line triathlon gear. I spent a lot of money on this. You know, I bought this a few weeks ago, and um, you know, I like to be in state of the art stuff. <laughs> nice to do new things. Half the things I'm doing, these 12 new things, are quite predictably new because they're pretty oddball. The other half are actually not very odd at all. <laughs> Definitely does need a foot on the back. Oh shit. Let's make it work, buddy. Come on. So, yeah, engineering's not quite up to speed. Got to do some re-engineering in the barn for a few minutes. <laughs> then new seat post. Phase two of rejig the bike with some extra bits and pieces. Painting pole, another old broomstick, and some framing brackets. Uh, somewhere to put my foot. They gonna be okay? Yeah? I promise to return it to you. In, in a functional form. Well, it's more of a roll, a roll and a push, but hey, it's, it's on a bike, so it looks like a bike. But yeah, I'm sweating the house down, I'm so hot in the wetty. Anyway, I'm not sure, I'm not sure you'd replicate this into a triathlon championship. But you know, as a way of getting to work, I think it's fantastic. I think this is, you know, I recommend it to everyone. Get your kid's bike, modify it, and get to work in a weird way. You'll be late, but you'll say, look, I, I rode my kid's bike to work this morning and then took a, a river that's in flood and then um, had to run down an old train line to get here and your boss will be fine with it. Okay. Um, I'm at the river. The old running shoes have seen better days after becoming the brake for the bike. Occupational hazard. First transition means um, I switch from bike life to aquatic life. In you go. And I want to take the bike with me. I'm dying to get in actually. I'm sweating bullets. I am hot. The wonder superheroes are so buff, they just sweat their ass off the whole time. I don't think there's many other commuters on the river today. I'd like to meet some, say good morning. Hi. Nice morning, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's gonna be any on the river. Beautiful. Could be doing emails right now. <laughs> the old floodplain trying to avoid them. I don't want to get grizzled in a farm fence. Regular triathlons are much like commuting. The faster and more effortless we make them, the more we celebrate. Now, these two truths go out the window when you willingly choose to make things a little more complicated and when you don't mind being slowed down. 
<laughs> oh, look, there's a chair. Take your helmet off. Live a little. Big old gum tree. Hello gum. And then nothing but a forest of willows down below me. Whew. <laughs> ha, howdy. <laughs> That's way harder than I thought. Like I had the helmet on actually, bopping myself all over the joint. Well, let's transition. So last leg, the uh, the run leg. Now it's about eight or nine k's I think. I've done this plenty. Uh, hilly of course, nothing, no flatlands around here. Um, quite looking forward to this last section. That's the new system. <laughs> uh, about to hit a main road. Now it's good timing to, you know, run in only half a wetsuit. I'll tell you what I'm not, it's fast. I'm going slow because the poles of the uh, seat are rubbing a hole in my back. Finally out of the sound of cars, back on the old rail trail, you little beauty. I just passed a couple of walkers and I wonder what do they think of this, you know, half wetsuited, bike, helmet wearing, rattling backpack dude. <laughs> what would I think of me? Because I don't see many of me around. I'd embrace it, I think. That dude's got purpose. He's doing something purposeful. At least he looks like he feels like he's doing something purposeful. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the difference, dude. Make it look purposeful. I'm heading to work. I'm just late. I'm heading to work. I highly recommend every triathlon should go via a park and trial the bubbler. What a lifesaver. Here's the thing about being self-employed. You can do weird stuff. At least, you can do weird stuff more. Like turning something formal and time-pressured into an informal wonderland of unknowns. Weird is good. Weird is very good and cheap and a great use of time. And classically, I want to be a lot later to work than I thought on these things. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm crap at is estimating how long these things are going to take. No, mate, no worries. That'll be two hours max. I'm a bit late to work. But there is uh, three hours still left in the day to make this very film. Ah. Here's the first triathlon. Commute to work, wear sunscreen, take chafe cream, take more snacks. I didn't take enough snacks. This is what I'm up to next. Okay, and the reveal. Getting my portrait painted. <laughs> 